let me I think I'm gonna make a new group for this for these games uh, my screen is black just so everyone knows you don't have to tell me because I know uh, okay I have quality options that's good hopefully I can play this game with a controller that I don't have plugged in. Great, I should probably plug that in. What's up, Cosmo? Ramp it up. I don't know. Let me try it with mouse and keyboard first, I guess. Emergency triage assessment. Pilot deceased. Rod, I need a favor. Okay, well, first off, hi. How are you? I hope you're good. I'm good. Thanks for asking. Not Rod, I need a favor. Like, Aubrey, can I ask a favor of you, please? Can you teach me the ways of Terraria? Like, don't be fucking rude. I said hey earlier today. What are you talking about? You mean my last stream? That was my last stream. You're never gonna get good in Terraria. Because you're fucking rude. Emergency. Okay. It read that stuff to me. Okay, we're, we're dead. Somebody's dead. New clone detected. Okay, we're the new clone. Initiating virtual training. I haven't slept since then, excuse me. Okay, and Yeah, maybe I'll wanna play this actually. With mouse and keyboard. This shit is loud as balls. I don't know if it's as loud for you guys as it is for me, but oh, oof. Alright, so we got unlimited ammo. That's a melee. Alright, yeah, I mean, I just changed it, but thank you. Okay, so I can die from falling off. The water is really loud. Open map. map. Alright. I can't zoom in or zoom out. That's interesting. Genome. This is Genome. Genome. This is the character, the clone that I came out as. 
AR mutations. I don't have any at the moment. Codex current build. Excuse me. All right, Codex. We got our fragment grenade. Doesn't get any more basic than this. The Kaiser Schmid fragmentation grenade combines old world wisdom with modern day firepower all in the palm of your hand. Simply prime your grenade, lob it towards the problem, and wait for a solution to present itself. Easy. Pus delayed explosion. Then I have my K1 plasma pistol. In these harsh and dangerous times, it's important to have something you can depend on. The Kaiser Schmidt Defender Plasma Pistol has you covered. Single shot, semi-automatic, and featuring beginner-friendly point-and-shoot action, you'll be up and running with this pistol in next to no time. While its lightweight build might come at the expense of stopping power, you can be sure that if the first bullet doesn't stop them, seven more are waiting to hit their mark as fast as you can pull the trigger. Plus, fires plasma rounds, and plus it's semi-automatic. Okay. Simple enough. Map. Tab. Okay. Flashlight. It shows me the reload time. Okay, I'm on fire. That's a roll. I can roll backwards. Okay, so I have stamina. Or do I have rolls? Okay, I have the three little things at the bottom. No, I have more than that. What is that? Nine, ten? I don't know. I can't count. What's up, Kevin? I don't know if that sound is supposed to be water, but it sounds like white noise. Okay. No, it's definitely water. Fuck. <laughs> it wouldn't let me do it because I spammed them already. K4 Riot Shotgun. The world today is a complicated place. Technology, for all its benefits, can be a confusing and fatal hurdle in the heat of battle. For those who are looking for something with a little more simplicity, we present the Kaiser Schmidt K4 Riot Shotgun. Taking our cues from simpler times, the K4 is designed to solve your disputes up close and personal, with as much force behind each shot as possible. Was there a face in front of you when you pulled the trigger? Not anymore, there isn't. With the K4's patented plasma spread, you'll be picking bits of teeth out of your hair for weeks. Fire spread of impact plasma rounds at cost of a slow reload. He hit me. Switch weapon. Switch weapon. There we go. I did it. Fragment. That's the grenade? Okay. That's my fragment grenade. Okay. I wish there was a quicker way than mouse wheel. This game is graphically gorgeous. Like, holy shit. This game is gorgeous. The, like, not only, like, the perspective and, like, the art style, but, like, the colors. The colors are fucking gorgeous. Fill grenades. Okay, so I don't have unlimited grenades. What hit me? I'm about to die in a tutorial.
Okay, that's restoring my stamina, my health, I'm guessing. Delicious. What did I pick up? What did I pick up? Base DNA. Is that adding to my base? Okay, I don't I don't I don't quite understand it yet, but it's okay. Oh, I must have picked up the key card. Use crate. Activate pickup. New pickup acquired. EM1 flare shot. With safety always guiding our hand, Shora, Shora Tiku Interstellar is pleased to equip all interplanetary vessels under its command with an emergency flare shot, only to be used in extraordinary circumstances. This reusable device will fire a blue signal flare intended to attract attention and aid to a stranded ship or pilot. Please be aware that the flares fired with this device are extremely dangerous and as such every precaution should be made to the point should be made to point the device away from anything you do not wish to see destroyed. Throw three explosive flares, chance to ignite enemies. Auxiliary acquired, Barrage RR05. Time and time again, our customers have requested a product that could be deployed in the most severe and dire circumstances. A device that, in an emergency, could be used to quickly and efficiently help turn the tides of battle. As with any suggestion from our customers, we looked at these requests closely and we took them to heart. However, we also know that our customers come to us for our unique take on armaments and would not be satisfied with the passive shield or non-lethal technology of our competitors. Our customers want something more proactive. So introducing the Kaiser Schmidt Barrage. At the push of a button, not one, not two, but five guided missiles will burst forth to seek out and destroy the hostile forces closest to you. Okay. Jesus. Jesus. Simulation complete. Tutorial's over. These are the current statistics of your clone. They will change dynamically as you slot DNA strands in and out of your genome. DNA comes in a variety of categories. A volatile offers, offers polarizing stats with a high mutation chance. And Fortify offers more positive stats with a low mutation chance. DNA mods are special strands that modify existing pieces of DNA. Initiating a hard reset will clear all mutations, DNA, and mods from your genome. This process cannot be undone. Genome contains five DNA slots, each with a single DNA mod slot and its own chance to mutate. Once finished selecting your desired strands, hit the sequence button to finalize your genome and whirl for mutations. 
Remember farming in Verdant Skies, slicing different DNA? This is like that, but for the human player character. I'm going to be hopelessly confused. Same. Sorry if you hear butchy. <laughs> I want to know what luck does. Isn't luck your crit? Like the amount that your crit does. Hmm. But she. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> All right. I don't know. Sequence. Sequencing. Genome. Like, he's going at it. Alright, I think he finally stopped. That man was going at it. <laughs> All right. Cool beans. Oh shit. New pickup acquired. Focus injector. Never miss your mark. Up your game with the new focus injector from Enhance. Exhance. My guy. What's he? Where's he? Come here. Get on the bed. <laughs> Get on the bed. Get on the bed. Come here. <laughs> Come here. Come here. You goofball. Exhance Energy Products, designed from the ground up for immediate extreme impact. The Focus Injector's secret formula gives you a boost to your fine motor skills, making it perfect for taking down those hard-to-hit targets. What's more, with our patented blend of nutritious riboflavin, <laughs> we've completely eliminated the next-day hangover that plague competing Focus products. It greatly increased, increased my accuracy, greatly increased accuracy, Twice the reload speed and 16 second duration. Dope. Okay, I like that it shows the button there because I was like, is that Q? Is that C? What am I doing? Inspect. I was gonna, I, my dumbass was really gonna miss that. Personal log. Hey Freya, look, just bear with me here. But this is you writing this, or I guess a cloned version of the original you, because she died when the ship crashed into the side of this planet. Look, this is messed up, okay? I've had a look around outside of the crash site, and I think I've started to get a handle on the situation. That's why I'm writing this down. I'm hoping this will get you up to speed. The ship is completely totaled, as you can probably see. The clone bay is still working, obviously, but pretty much everything else either is or was on fire the ship's distress beacon is gone too it was gone by the time i came out so i have no idea what happened to it but listen that thing is designed to survive crashes so it's got to still be operational as of right now i'm still getting a signal for it on the locator so i'm going to follow that you'll see soon enough but it's kind of a war zone out there from where i'm standing finding that beacon is literally our only hope to get out of here i've seen enough dead versions of us to realize that i'm probably not going to be the one to make it to be completely honest, you probably aren't either, but one of us will. We just have to keep going, okay? Keep trying. All right, nice pep talk. Good luck. Damn, future me is... 
Or past me is a motivator. Fucking damn it. Exit located. Okay, that's important. Hell yeah. Cowabunga. Oh shit. Ow. Am I destroying their nests? I don't even know. No, it doesn't look like it. Inspect. Sterile egg sacs. What's up, Kenny? How are you? Soulless egg sacs that appear deflated and smaller than the majority found on the surface of the planet. Scans of the discolored sac showed that the eggs were never fertilized, leaving their internals bereft of life. It is unclear what caused this lack of fertilization. Freya's note, something clearly went wrong with this batch. That's like a dozen fewer flying pricks I have to deal with, so I'm definitely not complaining. I do wonder what happened to them, though. Maybe there's some egg disease going on around or something? Egg disease. Mementos. Okay, cool. Poof. Oh, he hit me. Oh no, he probably just summoned more. Ah! Fuck. I knew that was gonna hurt me. Rot bladder. Item metadata not found. Scan results below. A gas-filled sac originating from the rot vine plant. Severed from the main body of the plant, it nevertheless continues to produce gas until the sac is liable to burst from any sudden movement. Careful negotiation of the rot bladder can allow for the expulsion of the gas in a chosen direction, thereby propelling the user in a kind of assisted leap. Boosts upward on use. Interesting. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. Rep, 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 tint dagger. That shit looks cool. Subject 22 ETA 0x106. Uncertain origin, though the ornate, ornate decorations covering the hilt hint at some form of mysticism or sacrifice. The blade is incredibly sharp and accident upon 
acquisition caused one of the team to cut themselves, losing a surprising amount of blood. They reported after the fact, however, that they felt fine, resilient even, ready to face anything, perhaps some treatment to the blade that acts as a primitive form of administering an antibiotic. Throw so three lifesteal daggers. Okay, interesting. Tinkered mutations. Hey, come on. That wasn't nice. Can I, like, get on this? <clears throat> I guess not. I don't know, I'm confused. Motherfucker. Why would you do that to me? Really? I just want to get up there. Really, bro? Are you serious? Oh my god, I was literally on it. Okay, you could like... Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> Incredible. I knew this was going to cause a problem. Like, it's the perspective. Like, it looks like I'm not going to reach it, but then I'm on it, and then I rolled off. <laughs> what the fuck? Really? Like, I died to that? That was how I fucking died? What a pain in the ass. Okay. Plus 14, 42 stamina, minus 14 luck, I'll take it. Platformer plus orthogonal perspective, yeah. Definitely not. Not what I would really want. Mutation detected. Prickled shell. Sores begin to expand on your back, eventually rupturing the skin entirely. Beneath a hardened shell with cruelly sharpened thorns emerge. Unrolling, you find yourself able to crash into enemies with your shell and deal substantial damage to them. Reflect shots from rear. Oh. My butt deflex. Plus 20 health, minus 20 speed. That sucks about the speed, but it's whatever. I want to get a fucking bagel to eat. A bagel. Butchie, a bagel. A bagel. Butchie, look at the bagels. I love me a good bagel. Who doesn't love a bagel? I hope it gets fun to play, but I do want to put, I do want to put something on this instead of just eating it like I normally do. So I'm going to be right back. Um, I wish the game kind of had some music instead of the, just the water. Um, yeah, I already read that. I hope it gets fun to play. It's already fun to play. I just suck at platforming. So, I started suffering early.
good shit. Where's open container? Up there. Okay, I'm gonna go over here because the exit is in that direction. really like this on mouse and keyboard actually tesla injector as a way to say thank you to the loyal workers at prism and elsewhere we have produced the new tesla injector removing the difficult choice between providing breaks for employees or suffering decreased productivity through an overstretched workforce now a single intra intravenous injection allows the recipient to shrug off lethargy or fatigue and get back to work with boundless energy the company is back to full-time productivity and the workforce no longer loses efficiency a win-win situation <laughs> so it's an adderall um unlimited stamina for 20 seconds interesting hmm Okay, I guess I'll go up here. You said they give her out, gave out Adderall like candy? Shit. If that's the case, I'ma hold out my fucking palms. Give me some. I'll take all the Adderall I can get. If my, like, okay, if I was to get a job somewhere and they're like, um, we'll give you this Adderall for free, so you're just a more efficient worker. I'd be like, you're giving it to me for free? I'd be like, hell yeah. The fuck? Fuck, I look like saying no to that. Y'all thought y'all could flank me? No. No, sorry. Why am I still on fire? I don't think it has recreational use. It doesn't. It definitely doesn't. It's a narcotic. Pretty fur. I'm pretty fur. Pretty fur. Huh. I don't know if that's what I meant to say. But yeah, it's, it's a narcotic. So I'm pretty sure you'd get carded if you were to pick up pills for it. And by carded, I mean... Hello? By carded, I mean, like, you have to have, like, a license or an ID. I do like that we have unlimited ammo. It's nice not to worry about having to pick up ammo. What is this? New passive required. Mid gut. 
a section of intestinal tract from an adult member of the solus genus. Remarkably thick gastrointestinal walls indicate a capability for extremely high pressure within the gut. The midgut has a disproportionately high amount of protein, thymine, folate, folate and sel selenium, selenium, nutrients more commonly found in a human heart than intestine. Likely benefits of ingestion would include increased energy and vitality. Nom nom nom, delicioso, give me a bunch of that, I am lacking energy, bro. Plus 25 health and 25 stamina, so that's a passive ability. Oh, so I just have that, that's dope, I like that a lot. Give me that good good. Whoa! Oops. I stepped in the goo. You had a prescription once for Adderall? What the fuck? Why'd you get rid of it? Oh! Not good. Jesus. It's a long story. Was this before or after the alcohol? I'm just interested, to be honest. Gotta get the fuck out of here. So I'll tell it now, <laughs> okay? Yeah, I mean, if you want to. If you're comfortable talking about it in my stream. I should turn the music up. It has music. I just turned it down. Oh my god, it sounds like a fucking Nine Inch Nails track. Or like on some fucking, like, ruiner shit. Fly drop core. The semi-translucent internals of the fly drop fauna, a native species often found close to shallow or stagnant water. Though small, the harvested organs appear to be greatly beneficial to human stamina recovery. Carcinogenic material is detected as being present within the tissue, though not in sufficient quantities to have an adverse effect, at least in the short term. Give stamina regeneration for 120 seconds. What is the Tesla? Infinite stamina. Oh, you pick it up upon, like you pick it up automatically. Cause I had the other one. I'm a really private person, so like, yeah, I wouldn't believe that for a second. I don't know, it's funny because like, before I started streaming, I was a super private person, like the most private. But now that I stream, it's like, I don't have any privacy anymore. It's kind of, ah, sorry, I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention. Um, I don't know. It sucks because I feel like even if you, if you want to be like super person, it, it sucks because I think you can definitely be a streamer. You can definitely be a streamer without, like, exposing yourself. But, like, it's sad because it's just... Streaming is just another form. Like, it's just another platform of, like, creativity and expressing yourself. So, it's like, if you want to fully be comfortable and express yourself, it's like, you do have to sacrifice your privacy. You chose to keep some stuff to yourself. Yeah, I I still have tons of stuff for myself. And there's certain things that I will never, ever, ever talk about on stream. Because it's just like, it's just literally nobody's business. Um, but I mean, it's still, it's just still something worth noting. <clears throat> you guys like 
literally if someone would have wanted want to get to know me all they would have to do is watch my stream whoa i was not paying attention i'm thinking about these bagels on my lap i'm just gonna keep them whoa look at that that's cool I like killed him, but he was just down to like a little crawly little enemy. That was cute. But yeah, I keep thinking about these bagels on my lap. But I'm honestly, I'm just gonna keep them here. I keep smelling the bag. And then when I'm like hungry, I'll get up and make a bagel. A bagel. A bagel. A ba gel. Uh, when I imagine streaming, I imagine making, playing a ma made up character. I want to have Jake voice, negative. Why? What's wrong with your own voice? That hit me? How the fuck? This is where I came from. I definitely like this more than Ruiner. Not that Ruiner isn't a good game, but I just enjoy this more. In these colors, and I like this art style a lot more. You tricked me. I don't think I can roll out of the slime. Acid. Jesus. This does kind of this does hurt my eyes though. I do have to say it does hurt my eyes because like I'm looking at it and then I'll look at chat and I'll be like, eh. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't hurt my eyes right now. But it's so bright and, like, potent that I'll, like, look... Like, the contrast is so off. I'll look at this, and then I'll look at the... My dark mode of Streamlabs OBS, and I'll look at chat, and I'll be, like, kind of uncomfortable. And then I'll look back, and I'll be, like, kind of uncomfortable. So, although I really love games with this vibrant, potent, like... Neon art style, it is something to say that... Yeah, like you said, the colors are aggressive. And some people's eyes are just more sensitive. And it's not like a, ooh, my, my, my eyes, me and my sensitive eyes. But it's just, I can't control that, like, it's too much, you know? So I think that needs to go into play. Like, we were talking about with Dusk. Dusk having the different presets and everything. And then I was able to change it and have, like, a custom preset. So I wanted vibrancy, I wanted the color pop, but not with all of the eyesore that comes along with it, I guess. It's just kind of, wait. Uh, ex uh, excuse me? Excuse me? Um, Kindred, I think white males from the US are boring. Like Kindred is awesome, but one is enough. Um, I don't know. I definitely agree. I definitely disagree with that. It's a whole branding thing. How many streamers play an affected character versus not? I mean, like, most of them are just being themselves, but it's kind of fun to go through and ask that question. True, there are lots of people that are playing, what, an exaggerated version of themselves, in a sense. I guess that's kind of why I'm able to, like, enjoy streaming. Because I'm literally just being myself. I'm not doing like an avert and holy shit. That's a bit much. I'm not doing like an exaggerated version of myself. It's literally just me. So that might be why 
And people are like, how can you stream for so long? Like, how can you do this and how can you do that? It's because <laughs> it's just me. Also, I don't have a schedule, so that also plans into it. When you force... When you have to do things a certain way and force your personality... I forgot I can melee. And force your content on an hour when you're not feeling it because you have a set schedule, like, it sucks. And it ruins it for you. Probably never gonna use a camera zoom on your OBS. Oh, like, when, when, like, Ken goes in full screen and it zooms up, or when, like, who else does it? Lena does it. Who else does it? Looking deep into the camera. Honestly, no, Alexis does it. I, I'm not against that. Um, but you have to remember, like, I have a fucking... I have a fake green screen. <laughs> like, my shit is so ghetto right now. Maybe when I improve it, when I improve the camera quality and stuff, when I use, when I try to use XSplit and OBS stops dropping random six frames, like, I definitely can consider doing things like that. And I don't see any reason not to for the dramatic effect. <clears throat> These bagels smell so good. But honestly, things like that are only, like, I don't want to be like, yeah, I plan to use that. Because it's like, it's supposed to be spontaneous. Um, dissolved clone, Akiyama Freya. Okay, so this is us. Detected cause of death, heart failure. It says heart failure, but the pool of corrosive acid she's lying in might have had something to do with it. Maybe her heart just gave out before it had a chance to be dissolved. This acid is nasty stuff. My suit protects me from the worst of it, but this is pretty clear evidence that it shouldn't be messed with. She's like soup inside there. What kind of soup? So exit's up there, so I want to go over here. Oh, that's a fucking... That's an enemy. <laughs> I thought it was like a drop I was supposed to pick up because I'm an idiot. So does slime actually hurt me or does it just make me slow? Because I think it just makes me slow. I don't think it actually does damage to me. Those little things do damage. But the active effect of slime on me, I don't think does damage. That's cool. Rot vine. I wish it would tell me what it does. Dude, Ken would fucking love this game. I'm so surprised why he hasn't played it. Hello? Okay.
awesome. Prism Munition? Okay, so that's the other one. Did you hear that little sound? That's cool. Um, yeah, you do that head cock thing, which cracks me up. I'm pretty sure that's a tick. Um, so that's funny. reminds me a little of rad yeah it reminds me of that as well but i think this came out before rad did so i didn't want to use it as a comparison sorry i hit my mic nah son no i'm pretty sure that's a tick i mean it might not look like a tick to you but i'm almost certain what you're talking about is a tick it's like you look at the camera and tilt your head to the side yeah that's <laughs> that's that's literally a tick. There's a banana here. Do you see that? Like you're doing it on purpose. Yeah, no, I um I do all of my ticks on purpose. <laughs> New pickup acquired. Soured veins. A separated section of solace flesh, densely populated with thick veins in which the thick, luminous blood of the solace has begun to congeal. Consumption will grant a brief period of greatly increased resistance to damage as the blood first works its way into the host system, but inevitably excuse me, leads to a crash whereby the host's body is deprived of further supply and goes into shock. Reduced resistance and speed follow for a short time. So I get plus 75 resistance, plus 75 speed, plus 20... Uh, as a 20 second duration, but I'm crippled after use for 20 seconds. I don't know if that's worth it. I better hope that... <laughs> I better hope for that time that I am crippled, that I have finished doing what I was doing. You're an annoying little bugger, you know that? I like how in the tutorial they gave me a shotgun. But I've just been using my pistol. I heard the last of me on this? Okay. I mean, I'm sure there are times when I don't do it as a tick. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's a tick. My nose is itching. <clears throat> I'll show you what I mean. No, I literally know what you're talking about. Like, I get what you're talking about. Why would I say it's a tick if it's not? Hell yeah. Oh. 
cool. Oh, it just brought me back around. Okay. Okie dokie. I'm just trying to figure out if we were talking about the same thing. No, we are talking about the same thing. I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, it's not a common tick, but it does happen. But there are times when I am just doing it like normal and it's not like a tick. New weapon acquired! S4 Sonic Rifle. Make yourself heard with the Prism S4 Sonic Rifle. Utilizing Prism's now launded Sonic Emitters, and combined with the latest in repeater technology, the S4 represents the pinnacle of all-terrain warfare. You'll enjoy the same penetrating effect that all of our S-Range products are known for, combined with a generous 16-round magazine and a fully automatic receiver. When the S4 is speaking, nobody will be able to get a word in edgeways. Fires explosive sonic projectiles, burst fire, slow reload, and slow projectile speed. Remote hack. Despite our unparalleled safety record for our auto not autonomous work units, we at PRISM understand that for some, an unblemished history doesn't assure a trouble-free future. For those people, we offer the PRISM remote hack. In the unlikely event of a malfunction, the remote hack scans for nearby droids, halting any commands currently in their work queues for allowing manual overrides for a short duration. Yes, yeah, right? Oh my god, somebody, I think, I think Cherry did that one time. Cherry did it, Kraken might have done it. Multiple people have done it before. I'll be like, this is a tick, and they'll be like, no, it's not. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, you're right, my bad. Oh. Are you serious? I just hurt myself. Basalt overhang. They might look sturdy, but those basalt overhangs will come crashing down with the slightest encouragement. I can probably use that to my advantage as long as I don't slip off. Well, who gonna tell her? She slipped the fuck off. Nom nom. Oh shit, what is this? Wait, is this- Oh wait, that was the- Oh. That was the end of the level. <laughs> I didn't realize. Wait, was it? No. Wait, yeah, it, it was. It was. Personal log. Whew. Okay, so I thought things might be a bit rough when I set out, but this was kind of chaos. You know how people say nothing could have prepared me for this? I literally died crash landing here and I was still unprepared. I got here though. It seemed like things were calming down a bit, so I took the opportunity to set up a small camp and recuperate. Things currently working in my favor. I am making progress. The beacon locator is actually working. I've stayed alive for two consecutive days. There are things to worry about though. The landscape seems like it's changing as I get further from the ship. Those bugs were already all over the place before, but here, it looks like this is their territory. They don't just hang around here. They've actually started building. That might be a bit of a strong word, but they're sure as hell doing something here. It seems like they've covered anything they can they can find in that luminous goo, almost creating basic structures. I need to stay on ground here. They seemed territorial before. If this is their home turf, I can't imagine it's going to get easier. Okay, I like the little lore in this game. That's cool. But I, I remember like, you know, because I'll call myself retarded and I'll be like, I'm so stupid, this, that, and the third. And people will literally be like, no, you're not. Like, I remember when I literally, like, when I, 
And I was, it's so stupid because it's literally this whole thing and it doesn't have to be. Like, okay, I'll be like, yeah, I have autism because literally, like, I have autism. Like, not like, oh, I'm retarded or, oh, like, I'm so stupid or, oh, like, I'm slow. Like, yes, these things are true. I do feel this way about myself, but, like, I actually, like, I have been diagnosed with autism. So, like, people... Like, I will, I will say something. I'll be like, sorry, I'm autistic, which I don't really do anymore. Sometimes I, I do it on occasion because it, it was just a habit for a long time. I'd be like, sorry, like, I'm so slow or sorry. Sorry, I did this th thing wrong because, like, sorry, I'm autistic. And it wasn't, like, me being like, sorry, I'm fucking, like, I fucked up because I'm stupid. It's like, no, like, I, it was a habit of me apologizing because I did things wrong. And me saying, like, I'm autistic because I used to do that. I used to be like that. And it's, like, this whole thing where, like, I would say it. It would slip and I would say it. And people would be like, no, you're not. Don't say that about yourself. No, you're not. And it's, like, this thing where I'm, like, okay, first off, I understand that you, like, think that I'm using it as an insult, but I'm, like, not. And even if I was, it would still be fine. Like, you wouldn't have to correct me because it's like, I literally have been diagnosed with this thing. And now there's people telling me that I'm not this thing. Like, it's frustrating because it's like, yes, it's okay. It's not a big deal if I'm autistic. It's not a big deal if somebody else is autistic. It's literally fine. They're not like less of a person because they have autism. Like, you don't have to treat them like they need to be protected you know what i mean like it's it's okay and i know that there's so many times when people will say like like okay when like a straight person is like that's so gay it's like okay the gay community has a problem with them saying that because they're straight but if like a bi or a gay person says like that's so gay it's fine because it's like, well, you can say that because you're bi or gay, so your circumstances are different. Shouldn't that apply to everything else? Like, if I say I'm autistic when I actually am autistic, like I have been diagnosed as having autism, shouldn't I then be able to say I'm autistic and not be okay because like I have that thing, so if I wanna use it in any type of way, I have earned that right in a sense. I have earned that privilege to be able to use that word how I want because I am that word, right? This consensus. But there's been so many times where I've been like, I'm this and I'm that. And people are like, no, you're not. Don't say that. It's like, listen, I actually am this thing. Like, I remember I was going into it with someone. I was like, no, like, you don't understand. I actually am this thing. Like, I was diagnosed. And they're like, no, no, like, you're not. Like, whatever they said to you, it's like, okay, so this person in Twitch chat, and it's not even, like, it would be a regular, too. That's why it would kind of, like, hurt me. Like, you're a regular of my stream, and you're telling me that, like, this doctor that is, is fucking, like, 100% legit and qualified diagnoses me with this thing, and you can tell by my Twitch stream, you're like, no, no, you're not it, like you're not it like it's okay like it's yeah you're right it is okay it's okay that I'm autistic it's okay that I have this one thing that makes me different like you don't have to take offense for me or defend me or be like don't say that about yourself like it's the truth the fuck I've gotten in trouble for it. What's trouble? Is that a stern talking to?
Yeah, I've been told. Don't, don't say retarded. Don't call people autistic. Don't say things are gay. I've also been told, I've also been told, like, don't say things are stupid or dumb. Because there are people who are stupid or dumb and can't help being stupid or dumb. I'm like, well, what the fuck? How am I going to describe things if I can't use any of these fucking words? Because somebody, somewhere on the planet, might take offense to them. Like, bruh. Don't say things are slow. Don't say things are this. Don't say things are that. How about I just say whatever the fuck I want, and if you don't like it, you can just not listen to it. You can just not hear it. I hate people who are, like, policing language. Language should never be, pol like, policed. I don't even care if it's awful. Somebody could be, like... <clears throat> something downright awful they could say something downright horrible and you know what at the end of the day they can still say that and you know what we shouldn't be like don't say that because these people who are saying these downright awful things are condemning themselves by saying those things you don't have to police and be like hey you shouldn't say that or hey don't say that like literally if people are gonna be racist or homophobic or fucking sexist let them because they literally out themselves. I would rather someone fucking say what they want, say what they think and they feel, and then I can make the fucking decision on whether or not I want to be around that person or take them seriously, instead of them being told, no, don't say that, don't say that, don't say that, and then they never say how they think or feel, and then they're just a closet racist. Like, <laughs> how does that help anyone? Oh, I kept thinking that this was like acid, but it's not. I think it's just like regular water. Passive acquired explosive armor for those bravest shore, shore tiku interstellar employees that are most often in harm's way. Explosive armor can be applied for, your, for from your assigned equipment administrator. Built from the most resilient materials available within budget limitations, this item confers substantial protection against explosive hazards. Due to some previous confusion, it should be clearly stated that the item is to protect from explosives and is not in itself an explosive device. Plus 100 explosive armor. Cool. EM1 flare shot. With safety always guarding our hand. Wait, I think I picked this up already. Yeah, I did. Regenerate stamina or flare shot. Excuse me. Log entry 58F. I'm starting to come to terms with the fact that I'm not getting off this planet. I know. Sorry. I've been trying not to be too much of a downer in these, but past a certain point, I'd just be lying. Part of me must have known the whole time. I mean, I'm leaving these notes behind for someone to read after all, but I've had a few close shaves now and it suddenly feels real. Don't worry, I'm not going to start bequeathing out my belongings just yet. I'm pretty sure I don't actually own anything anyway. All my gear reverts back to Shora, and even my ship is mostly made up of loaned equipment at this point. It's also in pieces scattered across the surface of the planet. I'm not giving up. I've seen how that turns out, and it's not a pleasant sight. When I go out, it's going to be loud, brash, and meaningful. Freya. I really like that, like... That... I don't know. I think I'd rather have 
regenerate stamina. I really like how we can like find lore and stuff. That's really cool. I really fucking like that a lot. Um. Nice Sue. <clears throat> steroid injector reach critical mass bulk up with the best selling steroid injector from enhanced energy products no matter how big bold and badass you are you can always do with a little something extra a steroid injector is instant gratification for your muscles and your immune system letting you shrug off damage and take the pain to them Plus 100% resistance and 25 max health for 20 second duration. There's something else here. Excuse me. Oh shit. That was the same level. Am I dumb or what? That was the same fucking level. I'm on the same level. That was just. Wait. I'm kind. Wait. Wait. Now I'm confused. Now I'm confused. Wow, that was just evil. What kind of baloney was that? Tesla injector. Infinite stamina. Wee! Hey, wait a second. I want to get over there. I missed my chance to get over there. I'm mad. Yes! It worked! It worked! I wasn't sure if that would work if he would fall down there, but he did. Nom nom. No! Yes! Yes! What's up, Cherry? How are you? Oh, look at those little flowers. Those are cute. Nom nom. No! I didn't want to go over there just yet. Hmm. 
Interesting. What the fuck? One sec. What do you mean one sec? <laughs> you literally came in and talked in my chat, bro. What the fuck? Supernova. RA3 Supernova. As part of your fully featured Shora Interstellar Emergency Package, installed as standard on all operation operational Shora vessels, the flare gun is an important piece of survival equipment. In the unlikely event of an unscheduled or emergency landing, proudly aim the flare gun into the air and fire with confidence. Under optimum conditions, your flare is visible by others in a three mile radius from the detonation point, burning with a hue that has been focused tested to inspire camaraderie and a willingness to assist. Your confidence in your rescue is rivaled only by your great gratefulness to Shore for their foresight in providing such important equipment to their employees, regardless of rank or value to the company. Freya's notes, this was originally juiced up to improve my chances of flares being seen by someone else on the planet. Now that I know that everyone else on the planet is actively trying to kill me, it's more useful as a weapon. It'll set basically anything it hits on fire and for some reason every third shot is way more explosive. No idea why. Fires explosive flares, second shot fire blue flare, final shot fire white flare. Chance to ignite enemies. Low ammo capacity and slow fire rate. I think I'll keep this. Keep this in the pistol. What is the purple thing? What is the purple thing? Oh, I'm guessing Cherry is trying to adjust their screen. Got you. You asked, how are you? Since, and I am mindful of my manners, I didn't want to leave your question hanging in the air, so I said one sec. Okay. How am I? I am drab and salty tonight. What? I feel like I have a PC ADD, like I can't decide what to do. Bioshock Remaster oofed out on me and I'm angry because, well, the file that allows you to save your game got deleted. Yeah, just play Bioshock 1. <clears throat> I heard there were issues with Bio- literally, literally just play Bioshock 1 because I heard that there were issues with uh, performance. Bioshock Ma Remastered is a uh, buggy its performance isn't that good and there's issues with save games that has literally existed since the game came out from what i remember just play the first one why what's wrong with the first one why did they need to why did they need to remaster it i got the remaster for free because i already had the first one but literally there's no reason there's no reason that bioshock 1 2 or infinite need a remaster Bioshock 1, like, but none of those games need a remaster. Like, at all. There's nothing wrong with the originals. They look great. They feel great. There's nothing wrong with them. And before anyone's like, well, the, the Bioshock 1 came out in 2008. It's a bit dated. Um, no. Play the fucking game. Just play the fucking game. It literally isn't dated at all. Like, okay, the graphics aren't perfect, but the atmosphere is fucking stellar. The soundtrack is there. The atmosphere is there. The sound design is there. The challenge is there. The story is there. There's literally nothing that needs to be changed. Like, the textures... It's not like it came out in 2002 and it has more when fucking graphics and they remastered it and they made it look like Skyrim. Like, no it just play the original games i didn't solve your issue i just told you to play the other games that's all i did i don't know what that purple is What's the purple? It says four meters. 
Okay, fuck you. Oh. Switch the fucking weapon! Yeah, thank you for that. Super fucking late. Why does it hit me with the fucking sound like I can't do it? When I literally took the fucking thing for it. Like, are you dumb? like dun, 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 dun. like uh no I have infinite fucking stamina I don't think you understand how that works sis I don't think you quite get it all right what's up bro man Remastered and downloading the original. Hell yeah. Yeah, no, I fucking love the original Bioshocks. I should honestly go back to them for horror month. But like the funny thing is I don't I don't really feel like I need to because it hasn't been that long since I <laughs> bitch. Since I played them. I mean I played them I played Bioshock 1 and 2. I played them, um, like a year or two ago. They were like one of the first games I played. Are you serious? Storm cell That's hilarious. Um, yeah, no, Ken, actually, I'm pretty sure I linked this to you. I'm almost certain that I linked this to you. Like, way back when, in game shit, because I came across this and I requested it on Keymailer and I got it. And, um, I know that I linked it to you. There's no way I wouldn't have. But how are you? How are you doing? But yeah, I played Bioshock 1 and 2. They were, like, the first, one of the first games I played on my channel. Uh, before I got my new computer. So, like, three years ago, I think. But I, I feel like I don't really need to play them so soon. I mean, it was three years ago. I could play them again, but... The way that I played them, I played them like completion. Storm cell incoming. So like, really? Oh yeah, I forgot I can do this. Oh my god, I forgot. I forgot about that ability. I could run it back with Bioshock. I really could. Bioshock and Prey are like literally safe picks. Switch the fucking weapon. What a pain in the ass. I was like trying to switch the weapon for so long. I don't know what the fuck rot blotters do. I think it's the potion, or not the potion, the, what's it called? Uh, gas, I think it's the gas. Okay. I'm not sure if the remastered versions are still janky on Steam or not. They are. That's why I told him to play the originals. This screams Ken. I know.
the news of a possible new one releasing. Uh, a new one releasing? Are there rumors? Because Irrational Games shut down after Bioshock Infinite, so I doubt it's them that are, that are making it. And if it's not them, then I'm like, uh, eh. I could totally watch it. Okay, I'm not worried about it. I'm not like, oh my god, I can't stream it because I won't get any viewers. It's just that I've played them already. I could play them again. And I, I have an excuse because... It's it's October, right? It's horror month. I have an excuse. Like, um, basically, Bioshock and Prey are both safe picks. Excuse me. So they're like games that I could pick up during, excuse me, horror month. Um, if I like want to be like, yeah, hey, guys, I'm doing horror month, but I don't want to play like the shitty horror games in my library. Um, but I'm more inclined to pick up Bioshock than Prey. Because I played Prey, like, I don't know. It's been longer. The gap between playing Bioshock, the last time I played Bioshock, and Prey, it's longer for Bioshock, so. Don't worry, I will probably watch if you play Bioshock. I'm gonna kill myself. You're banded as another company, uh, Gilba Ghost Story Games now? Really? I did not know that. That's exciting. Does it have what's his face? The main dude behind like everything who's lit his name literally lapsed from my judgment right now because I'm a piece of shit. Kevin. His name's Kevin. Kev Levine. There we go. You wish he was me? Huh? <laughs> Your name's Kevin? I did not know that. That's awkward. Ken? I didn't say Ken, I said Kevin. Ken is his name? Oh, I thought it was Kevin for some reason. Why did I think it was Kevin? Ken Levine? That doesn't even sound right. You wish he was me? You can't even say that because it's one N. And whenever somebody accidentally fucking misses the second N on your name, you're like, oh, the other Ken's in here? Go ahead, add him. He might be in here. Herder. Like... Now, now he wants to be you. Okay. Okay. I'm fucking lost. No, stop. I don't want to go up automatically. You're annoying. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Where is it taking me? I don't want to go this way. I wanted to be over there. Like, really? Now I can't go back? Eat my ass, dude. I know you're alive and you're going to come oof me.
Jesus. Please just hit the fucking thing. Load of Blogna. Wild feast. An apparently purposefully prepared platter of meats and fruits harvested from the local environment, though who prepared it is unclear. The sheer size of the meal would provide the user with a profound sense of achievement that will last long beyond the rejuvenating effects bestowed by the ingredients themselves. Strenuous exercise is not recommended immediately after consumption. Gives health regeneration for 120 seconds. Dope. Okay. Eat, eat me arse. Why? Why is that there? That's awfully mean. Why? Uh, really? This looks kind of fun though. It is fun. I like it a lot. I just suck at games like this. And it's also really aggressive on the eyes. Whoops. Can I please go back up? Please let me back. I didn't even fall that time. This thing just fell. I wanted to go back up. That's so lame. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. Especially because there's so much like platforming in this. There's so much fucking platforming in this and I'm pissed off because it's fucking like the perspective is fucked. I'm going to use this and then I'm going to pick this up. But it's not like fucked. It's good. I like it a lot, but it's just like I can't do what I want to do because I'm afraid that I'm not going to be able to make it across. SMG. The term submachine gun prepare or perhaps unfairly maligns the weapon we are presenting here today. After all, the Kaiser Schmidt SMG is in no way less capable than the full machine gun. Rather, we've simply taken the best aspects of the heavier weapon, its automatic firing mode and high fire rate, and married them to a lighter, more user-friendly form factor. While this has resulted in a higher spread and smaller magazine size, the resulting weapon remains perfect for cramped indoor incursions, where the full machine gun would be clumsy and cumbersome. One for the gorilla on the go. Fires mini plasma rounds, high fire rate at low ammo capacity. Low ammo capacity, that's 24 in comparison to the what? Nine of my plasma, eight? What the fuck? What the hell? See, this is the exit and I missed shit. I mean, it doesn't say I missed shit, but I know I missed, like, loot and stuff. And I don't think I can go back. I tried and it wouldn't let me. So fuck it. Fuck it all. Just let me go back, you evil, evil man. Storm cell incoming. I guess if you think- wait, let me read what you're saying. I guess if you think about it like a sophisticated arcade game or like a top-down laser shooter, not bad. What are you talking about? <laughs> what would be bad about this game? I enjoy it. It's, oh, it's okay. I won't criticize, but oof, hee hee, oh, maybe it'll switch to cool blue eventually. All bright fire. I don't like it. It's too small. What? Can somebody translate? 
Yeah, the color palette changes. <laughs> Secrets discovered. Zero percent. Yeah, because you wouldn't let me go back. Cunt. Little cunt bean. Okay, personal log. Dear diary, rest stop number two, and I'm actually starting to feel a bit optimistic. Maybe it seems dumb because I'm in basically the same exact situation as I was last time, relocated by a couple of miles, but I'm actually feeling good. This place has rules, just like everywhere else. I've lived, worked, and fought. Learn the rules, and eventually you'll start to see how you can take advantage of them. For example, the bugs and the robots seem to hate each other. I totally get that, but I'm not a huge fan either. They seem to enjoy fighting each other, so who am I to interrupt them? That said, it does look like I might be leaving the bug territory behind. Up ahead doesn't seem any more inviting though. These droids, or the corp that put them here, whoever, must have been building here non-stop for years. The outposts and watchtowers I'd come across, the corp was obviously pr pretty invested here, but they're nothing, nothing compared to what's coming up. It's an actual, literal fortress. There's no way this was just a mining colony. This is some military grade construction jutting out of the landscape. They were, they are protecting something in there. And just my luck, the beacon locator is pointing me straight at it. <clears throat> How do I get the damn, like, how do I do this shit? I don't think you can do this shit until you finish the level. Which is like a long time of you to collect stuff and then not be able to do anything with it. I think I have to die. I th I'm almost certain I probably have to die to make changes, which kind of sucks. I wonder, wait, I wonder if I'm supposed to die so that I can then make those changes, which if that's the case, that sucks my leg off. Because <clears throat> I did die once before from the platforming and I was able to go back and change my mutations and shit. I'm not into compacts, oh, well, I mean, it's better than the pistol that I had from fucking 24 to, from eight pi or eight rounds to 24. I'm not gonna argue about the size of the gun. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I thought I could fucking bop him, but he bopped me instead. <clears throat> Excuse me. Plus, it's not like you can just pick, like, hey, I want this gun or hey, I want that gun. You either get one or you, you get the other. You can't really be picky. Adrenaline injector. Speed up. Overtake the rest with the lightning quick adrenaline injector from Ex Exhance Energy Products. Sprint faster, run longer, react quicker. The adrenaline injector will take you from 0 to 60 in one quick jab. Outlawed from sporting events and retirement homes. One thing's for certain. This ain't your grandpa's performance enhancer. Plus 100 speed, plus 20 second duration. <clears throat> but I really like this. I like the music. I like... The only thing is, I just wish the colors weren't as aggressive. And I wish you didn't have to die to make changes to your DNA. But that's just how the game works.
Holy shit. Waste disposal unit. These state-of-the-art waste disposal units are just one approach PRISM takes in its, own in its responsibility towards the environment. Prior to all large-scale operations, PRISM ecology surveyors are assigned to assess the potential risks and damages to local flora and fauna that our presence in the area may incur. These reports are then carefully integrated into all future planning so that our footprint may be as low impact as possible. Freya's notes. To be fair, I wasn't here before these robots started doing their thing, but this whole place, this whole place really seems like it's being polluted by them. So this is just a lie, or did something break down so long ago that the entire ecology, ecology is collapsing and nobody's noticed? Don't eat pizza rolls before bed. Why? Does it make you sick? What's up, Jinseng? How are you? Gastric. Oh, God. True. All right. Well, thank you for letting me know. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Jesus. Change the weapon. God, that's annoying. Please change the weapon. Please change. Thank you. Destiny 2? No. Isn't that free to play? That's cool. Oh wow, okay. I think they were supposed to go on here, but I already fucked that up. Whoops. <clears throat> Let's 
Yeah, I already fucked that up. Whoopsie daisy. This is really confusing. Okay, so the reason that I was having so many issues switching my weapon is because it changes based... Okay, no. It's, it's fucking mouse wheel up. It's mouse wheel up. I was like clicking mouse wheel button and I was using down, but it's always, it's always mouse wheel up. I'm like, why isn't it switching? It's cause it's mouse wheel up only. So never mind. I don't want your carrots. I don't want your carrot stick. Get out of here. Let me read what you're saying. Let me just finish dying first. Let me just get out of the way of that. Focus injector. Increases accuracy. Detonator. I don't want to click that yet. See, okay, another thing I don't like about this game is that it's a game where like okay you're rewarded for exploring because there's secrets and stuff right but it's not like open in a sense that like if you go up a level or if you go to the right you can then come down or you can go back to the left like it's not like that it's like if you go up like sometimes you can go to the right and then go to the left or you can go up and then go back down but it's not guaranteed so i'm like what i my exploration feels like kind of stunted because like I'm afraid that I'm gonna go a direction that I'm not gonna be able to then return to and that kind of sucks I don't know if it's meant to be like that let me read cherry one sec let me read what you were saying um you said you weren't extremely good at it or something and when you said it's very bright, I was simply saying hope you, hopefully the maybe the background was turned blue or green. Yeah. I was thinking that. It wasn't right at the start, I don't believe. I could be wrong, though. Um, I know how to get rid of it. If you have heartburn or something with acidity, if you drink one liquid ounce of vinegar in a cup to replenish it, then the yucky feeling in your esophagus or your tummy to your throat goes away. Um, he said, if you drink one liquid ounce of vinegar in a cup to replenish it, then the yucky feeling in your esophagus or tummy throat goes away. Yeah, you, the, th the yucky feeling from heartburn or acid reflux goes away because then you have fucking vinegar in your stomach and then you feel gross because you just drank a fucking liquid ounce of vinegar also don't you normally take that shit isn't that something that you use to like clean yourself out because i know that like um you know when people get piss tested or whatever they're like i'm gonna drink a but a bunch of fucking vinegar and i'm like okay you're literally gonna get sick but all right to flush themselves out maybe I don't know maybe that'll work I don't know cherry said it'll work so trust him yes please check but it tastes crazy and for a second it'll be like oof yeah yeah absolutely you have melee yes I do but I have to get I have to get up super super close and by the time they can be like oof to me you know laser beams eventually I hope I don't know I just started playing this like what an hour ago two hours ago almost um I've gotten what I got a laser rifle 
Like, I got, like, a laser beam rifle, but I swapped it for another gun, because you can only have two guns. So I have the SMG. You start off with a pistol, but I have the SMG, um, and then I got the... I got the pistol, then I got the laser rifle or whatever, and then I got the fire weapon, which is what I have, and then I got the SMG, which is what I have. But in the tutorial, it showed off the pistol and it showed off a shotgun, so I'm sure there's a bunch of different weapons. Well, let's do this, I guess. Or, okay, I guess I collected a weapon or a detonator. I don't fucking know. Wee! Now I'm up here. Whoa, hello. I didn't even see you there, cowboy. No! Adrenaline injector. That almost killed me. That would not have been good. Bam. Got him. Sorry if you hear me. But she making a bed as per usual. Whoa! Don't kill me! How dare you. Delicious. Thank God. Jesus! Look at that madman come at me! What a lunatic! See, now, I'm not sure... See, like, the perspective is so strange. I never know if I'm gonna survive a fall, or if it's gonna take me somewhere that I don't wanna, like if I'm gonna survive a fall or if it's gonna take me to another place or if it's gonna kill me, like I don't know. It's like inconsistent in letting the player know that. And I wouldn't mind like finding out for myself except for the fact that like it can kill you. It could kill me, which is kind of why like last time, my first life, the first, the reason that I died the first time was because it, it killed me. I kept trying to figure out if I could get across someplace and it fucking killed me. And that's not fun. I don't want to like scuff an entire run. Okay, I was up here. Oh my god, I got stuck. What the fuck? Okay, now I'm down here. Like, what the fuck? It's just... It's just... Inconsistent. Nanoed... Nanomad Trauma Patch. Uh, the Evotech Nanomad Trauma Patch is intended only for use in emergency life or death situations. 
We recommend only applying the patch after a thorough consultation with a health professional. For you, swallow the blow instructions. Carefully tear open the packaging, leaving adhesive sleeve attached to the trauma patch. Remove the sleeve and apply over the site of the trauma, making sure to clean the area of blood or other fluids before application. Hold in place for three seconds or until a severe burning sensation begins. If the above instructions have been followed correctly, you will experience a short period of euphoria. Please keep in mind that this effect is temporary and may be out of step with the lasting benefit of the trauma patch. After a short time, the euphoria will subside and you will be left with the physical results of the trauma patch. Heals for 75 HP, heal decays over time. Interesting. It's a temporary heal? That is very odd. That is very, very odd. But it's don't, ah, Jesus. It's interesting. I'm so fucking lost. What's up, Dolph? How was your stream? Can we get a shout out for Dolph, please? If you could just fucking shout himself out. So, like, I temp get my health back? Yeah. You temporarily get it back. And I used it. Ow. Ow. Like, if I don't think I'll be back in an area, which I never know, because like I said, in this game, you don't know, really. Um, I'll use it. Because I'm like, well, I won't be back. But I don't know, because this game literally is all over the place. Maybe if I go over here and then fly off it will do something okay not i didn't mean over there apex do do then why play it i don't know i think apex is literally like the free black ops uh it's the free it's the free blackout is what i meant to say Hi, good boy it's it literally reminds me of blackout except it's free and it's like not as good <laughs> But I mean, obviously it's not as good because it's, it's free. <clears throat> but I don't know. I don't think I'd really play, like I, I wouldn't regularly stream any BR unless it was blackout. And um, I think it's too late. I think that train has sailed for me, sadly. But like, I don't hate Apex, but um, there was, there's a lot about it that I wish was different. It could be different now, because it's been months since I played it. I haven't really played it since it came out. Um, and I know they have, like, a new map and stuff, but... I don't know if they'll ever add, like, a solo mode, which, which is really what I would prefer. I will be right back a second. Witchy, can you go lay down on the bed? I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some food. Excuse me. Because it'll fill me up more. I found a fucking secret. Okay, basically. So I'm guessing I'm just supposed to let... Shut the fuck up. I'm just supposed to allow either the interface, like the HUD, to to guide me or just wing it 
and may and hope hope to god there's a fucking ground at the bottom executioner t8 executioner the idea behind the tesla huh the who the tesla pulse rifle was a simple one deliver the best possible accuracy and damage available in a single shot light rifle it's with great pride that we can announce that we have achieved this goal by lowering the velocity of each projectile we have been able to imbue each shot with unprecedented power and an unerring trajectory transferring incredible damage on contact with the target Due to a reduced projectile speed, we envisioned the pulse rifle to be used from a stationary position, aimed towards a choke point to minimize the potential movement of the target. Freya's notes. Two things I've learned. One, with only a few adjustments, you can force SFG rounds into a Tesla pulse rifle, which is great. Two, if you do happen, if you do that too frequently, extremely bad things will happen. I've capped the mag capacity and fire rate below normal believe me it's necessary that's right i'm calling this the electrocutioner my dangerously modified pulse rifle my rules fires explosive mini tesla sfg balls penetrates targets self damage warning slow projectile speed slow fire rate self damage warning huh So wait, what is a self damage? Where does the self damage come from? Oh, the explosion. It's the explosion. Okay, so I'm going to switch the supernova for the SMG. So I have the SMG and then I have the electrocutioner. This will probably end up killing me, but you know what? Wow, that was very anticlimactic. Okay, I'm seeing now that they have little fucking arrows to show me where I can and can't go, maybe. I'm sad I missed out on this puzzle. I'm very sad. So left, left. I know I was over here. But maybe I missed something. You stop that. Jesus. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Calm down. Sheesh. Go back up. Noida? Yeah. I'm supposed to play that. I haven't redeemed it yet. <clears throat> Why? Why Pog? So I can go down there to explain it to me? Gotcha. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. What do you need to explain to you? Transmitter, thank you for purchasing the Prism Transmitter for terrestrial use. We believe that this new device will provide you with an unparalleled communication experience for many years to come. Out of the box, each Prism Transmitter is equipped to record, encrypt, and transmit information to another Prism Transmitter over a distance determined by the tier you selected at checkout. And thanks to the closed nature of our system, any attempt to listen in or to hijack our transmitters is virtually impossible without authorization. Freya's notes. Great. I find a full-on working transmitter out here on this alien planet, and of course it's some weird tech that I can't interface with. From the sounds of things, it's only for talking between camps on the ground anyway, but at least I might have been able to ask someone why everything around here is trying to kill me. That's what I've been hearing this whole time. It's crazy I have any brain cells left. 
<clears throat> now where the fuck am I? Will the game save, like, if I was to quit? Oh shit, stop. Jesus. Maybe I'll just die. Yeah, maybe I'll just die. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting it's fucking mouse wheel up and that shit's oofing me because I'll hit down because normally whenever I play a game that has anything bounded to mouse wheel I always bind it to both up and down uh, for obvious reasons up and down is a lot easier than just up um what do I want? In infinite stamina. Okay, we don't want to go that way. It reminds me, I have to play Ruiner, but I watched Cuddles play Ruiner not that long ago. So I think I'm like good. See, now, this, this has an arrow going this way. Like, why would you do that to me? It's so... So disloyal. Wait a second. What are those over there? How do I get over there? There we go. That's how I get over there. Hmm. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, no. I am dead as fuck. Oh, my God. Why? Hello? <clears throat> How is that not dead? Hello?
Ooh, he stunned his own little fucking minion. And then he disappeared. Nice. Okay, I understand. Hud out my fucking asshole, bro. Hello? Can you pick it up? Tragic. Storm cell incoming. Hello. Hello. I'm a bit confused. Wait, is it bug? Because I can't shoot this. just reflects my bullets. Is it bugged? It seems like it might be bugged. What do you guys think? I think it's bugged. The reason I think it's bugged is because it's just not doing anything. And he's like stuck. Unless... Okay, maybe I shoot him. Okay, yeah, I definitely think that was bugged though. I definitely think that was bugged. I don't think he was supposed to be invisible. And I don't think he's supposed to be out. Is he invis? What's happening? Ay, ay, ay. <clears throat> no. Okay, I don't know what to do. What do you guys think I should do? <clears throat> oh yeah, also I should mention, and um, I was gonna mention it earlier, but I just forgot. This is in early access. But it seems like they fucking, they update it often. Excuse me. Their last couple um, updates for this. Wait, let me look actually. Okay, so they have development updates. Right, it says June 12, 2019, which is a long time ago, and then it says September 13th. Um, but yeah, okay, so there was a patch on the 13th, a patch on the 7th. 
a patch in August. So those are the updates where they like write the the info or whatever. But there's been patches every couple months. Twice two patches in September. Actually, is it easy to restart the level? I don't think you can. So, yeah, September 13th, September 2nd, August 19th was a hefty fucking upgrade or update. July 18th, heavy update. July 2nd. So, they do update it like every month. And there's a lot of, like, if you look at these patch notes, there's a ton, a ton of things that they change. German Stranger, thanks for the follow. Is it easy to restart the level? I don't think you can. I don't think that you can. What a shame. <clears throat> Um, okay. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll just run off here and see if anything changes. It took my health away. No, yeah, I think this is bugged. So, hmm. Return to menu. Continue. Uh... Okay, so I think this is the start of the level. Wow, it saved. The last time it saved was like an hour ago. Yeah, I guess this is this this is the level. It almost feels it almost feels like it's not worth it. Like I probably should have just died. Cuz there was what? I don't think I'm going to have the new weapon that I got. No, I don't. I probably should have just died. Dying probably would have been better. Cuz I would have been able to go back to the DNA thing and splice my deal or my DNA. Because you can only do that when you die. Damn. Damn. Sorry for bad suggestion. No, it's not your fault. It's the game's fault for bugging out. Um, okay, well, if I'm just going to... I'm just going to be at the beginning of the level, then I will just play that next time. I'll probably just die because I'd like to change my mutations and stuff, splice my DNA and change that up. And I think you can only do that when you die. So, although I was definitely enjoying that, uh, I will pick that up at another point in time. I don't feel like playing through that level again. But Cherry, if you're still in here to answer your question, I think it does change colors. Um, if you look at the store page... There's like underground parts that aren't as bright. They're like a blue and a green. There's like fungal like parts. There's a lot of orange, a lot of yellow, um, green and red. There's even this one screenshot that here, let me show you. It's like a bright green. That is like a completely different terrain, a different environment. But that's like where I was. And then I think I fought some of these little things. And I was at a place like this. This is new. This is completely... I mean, the terrain, like, the environment is... Is the same, but the colors are different. I'm really interested in this one. This one looks fucking cool. Anyway, we will return to Beacon. That is really, really cool. I fucking enjoy that a whole lot, actually. I really... Like, I want to keep playing it, but I just don't want to redo that level. So, yeah. But I am really enjoying that. Beacon is fucking cool. I knew, like, I knew just by looking at a game like that that I would enjoy it.